All right. Looks like I'm on. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Um, I am, um, been going through a lot physically, and I'm sorry for my absence. Um, it's just I've been in a lot of pain lately, an unbelievable amount of pain. Um, and I have a doctor's appointment soon, so that's good that I have that coming up. And I have my therapy coming up soon, so that's good. So I'm in good shape right now. Um, and everything in my life seems to be slowly turning around. And it's because Jesus. I truly believe it's because of Jesus Christ. Because, like, whenever I'm in need of something, I, like, pray to him. And this is a testimony to Christians. I pray to him, and he always gives me what I need. Um, no matter what, you know, sometimes I have to wait a little longer, but it's always, he, he helps me. Um, and it, it's, it's because Jesus is a king, but not like any other kings, like earthly kings that just want to rule and dominate and control the populace. No, he is a servant king. He answers prayers for his glorification because, in other words, it makes him happy when he helps others out. Um, and he is so beautiful how he helps when you're in most need. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having really bad back pain lately. Um, my doctor is probably going to be scheduling a freaking x-ray for that one. Yay, <laughs> more tests. Um, but I want to tell people that I love you guys and I'm really thankful for everyone who has helped me and supported me and loved me and cared for me. I'm really grateful for all of that, that you guys have been there for me when I really needed someone. Um, and I, I think it's because you recognize that I love Jesus in the long run, because I do. I love Jesus so much, because he does help when I'm in need. He does help, and he does. I've been praying lately that my life will be put together and my health will get better. You know, essentially, you know, help me get out of pain so I'm not suffering so much. I mean, that's my number one priority right now is not to physically suffer so much because it's completely debilitating in my life is is feeling so much pain and and not having relief from it you know you go to sleep you're in pain you wake up you're in pain and I'm just praying to Jesus for you know relief from this pain um, so you know I'm hoping my doctor can help me out um, and they can figure out why this is happening to me. Um, I just want people to know that if you're not in Jesus, please give Jesus a chance. You know, um, it says in the Bible that Jesus is close to the brokenhearted and I, I have to tell you I, the way my life has went I am so brokenhearted 
you know, I'm, I'm still mourning my parents. And I can't, I, I just, it's really hard to go through that. I, I mourn other things. I'm going through a lot of stress, you know. I thank God that I have my family. I have my sons. I have my husband. I have my cats. I thank God that I have those people in my life. Because they are the most precious people in my life. Um, and they're there for me when I need them. Um, I just know that Jesus is going to put my life together. And he has been slowly. You know, slowly he's been answering my prayers and... helping me out in life, you know, because when you don't have anyone, God will be there. And I think that's why he's put us through this type of isolation so much. So we know that he's the one you should depend on over everything. And anyone is depend on God depend on him that he'll be there for you when you feel lonely you feel mistreated he'll be there for you because I know because he's there for me and I'm very lonely in life I'm very isolated in life you know it, it's it's hard to let anyone in now so many people are either really paranoid about you or they're just they just hate you you know kindness is a rarity nowadays you know the, the love of many has really waxed cold you know it's just like everyone completely misunderstands people and it's like they purposely want to misunderstand someone instead of trying to understand and helping them out, you know. I find it sad, you know, and so many people lately, they, they hold grudges against people. And those people that have grudges held against them they're perpetually heartbroken. And, and I think the Lord is teaching me this right now. Is how broken hearted people truly are. And how broken they are. And how lonely they are. Because um, a lot of people, they, they, they open up to me. Tell me their stories and their life. A lot of it's sad. A lot of it disappointment and trauma. And it's like naturally I want to help people who have that problem because you know it, it helps me because I know how it feels to help others you know what I mean. It just it helps me feel better to to love a person that is like normally shunned away from society you know what I mean it makes me feel better that way you know I, I just see so many people and they're so apathetic in life and it's like can you at least try to not judge someone and and do something kind for them. You know, it doesn't even have to be monetarily. It can just be a kind word. A, a, a passing glance of a smile. You know, kindness, compassion, empathy <coughs> is 
truly what's needed into this world. You know, it's not power or greed, because we have enough of that. It's empathy, compassion, understanding, taking someone that's hurting and lifting them up. That's what Jesus does for others. And I wish more people would reflect him. Because if more people reflected Jesus, our world would be such a much better place. And giving kindness out, empathy, compassion, love, generosity, just being there for someone when they need someone. You know, just even lending an ear for someone. I think that's the best to do in this world. The best. That kindness. I wish we could bring it back to this world. Because this place is so dreary now. Because there's no love. That's why Jesus Christ needs to return. So we can bring the love back. Anyway, if you like this video, thumb up it. If you would like to support our family, you can. It's all in the description down below. I just want to tell everyone that I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep up with the faith. Don't let anyone put you down and know that you are a child of God and you should be proud of that. Peace and Maranatha, thank you, I bring the ruckus. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Have a good night. Alright?